we are going to be going over reverse balayage. So I, real quick, I just want to show you guys the sectioning we're doing. So I have five sections. Let me see, spin around so you can see that. So two in the back, and then I have two on the sides and one in the front. And the reasoning for keeping the front, uh, you know, its own section, I'm going to create with this look, we're going to create a reverse balayage feel that still has lightness specifically in the front. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to go through and showcase to you guys that placement today. Um, what I'm using is healing color. Um, we are using shades um, 7NV and 7P at the base and down into the middle and sometimes on the ends. And then on most of the, on the ends, we're going to be using 9 Pearl and 9 Violet. I'm always going to uh, start out with my Lonza Color Attached Step 1. What this is going to do is equal out the porosity and ensure that we have a nice even result when depositing our color. Um, and then I also have made sure to add in my five grams of trauma treatment into um, the mix as well with each of my colors. So for every 30 grams of color, you add in five grams of trauma treatment. And trauma treatment has been shown to increase strength by up to 150% and increase um, shine by up to 85%. So pretty cool, guys. And I also want to make sure and say thank you all for tuning in and seeing me on this gorgeous Monday. If you could, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. I love to get to know you guys. So we're going to start out and I'm going to apply, I'm going to apply on, you know, I'm going to go down on a horizontal. The reason for that, I want to ensure that I have good blending within this look because again, we're doing a reverse balayage and what a reverse balayage is, is just that. You know, we take a balayage and then we're going to reverse it and, and invert it into something a little darker, a little more fall and winter time, if, if you know what I'm saying. Hello, Katie. Thank you for joining me. Yes, it's so good to see you. I haven't not saw you since, I guess, it was elementary school. Thanks so much for tuning in today. So again, we're going to be taking our darker color at the base, which is our 7NV and 7 Pearl. And then we are going to be taking our um, 9 Pearl and 9V for the ends to, you know, still give some brightness, but help, you know, tone down some of this blonde and create it more of a, you know, lived in wintertime blonde look. Um, another hot tip I want you guys to look, I've labeled my bowl with just a white sticker. That's how I kind of can keep separated which formula is dark versus which formula is light. It's just a really easy, quick tip. Um, when you're working behind the chair to make sure to maximize your, you know, your output and input behind the chair. So I'm going to take a foil, fold that over. I like to use foils. You also could just, you know, section and put it out of the way. But for neatness, I'm going to use a foil. So for my next section, what I'm actually going to do. So first section, we just took and applied roots down to ends. What I'm going to go through is I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick up kind of, I'm going to kind of do a quite a, hefty tease about like that. Can everyone see that? Let me turn it around where y'all can see that. So I'm going to clip that up out of the way. This is going to be my lighter piece. So I'll show you that in a second. So what I'm going to do now is take my darker formula, apply that on the base, and um, I'm not going to be applying color attached all over this mannequin just because it is a mannequin. But if this were a live model, I would make sure to apply color attached thoroughly beforehand and then apply all of my color over top of that. And I hope I've not missed anybody. Um, like I said, if you guys would tell me where you guys are joining in from, I'd love to know where you guys are all tuning in from. Tell me your time, what time is it where you're watching. It's like two o'clock here, I'm on the East Coast. So, so again, we're gonna go quite a ways down. And I like to too, when I'm doing something like this, keep a comb like this and make sure that I'm working down just to help blur any. And then I'm gonna take my lighter color and apply that down on the ends. They can kiss, but you know, not exactly touch. And then what I'll do is just to make sure that I've got it extra, extra blended, I'll go back and make sure to take my darker color again and just feather that down slightly just to create a seamless blend throughout. Okay, and then we're gonna put a foil right over top of that. And then I'm going to take that piece that I told you about 
uh, that we were going to do something with in a minute. We're going to take that down. And what I'm going to do now with this piece is I'm going to slightly smudge down on her root just a little bit just to create a, a place, kind of a guide for me to work from here. I'm going to take my brush again at um, a vertical feather down, pick back up, make sure that I've got the bottom and I have, feather that down, and then I'm going to go in and take, do my little bit of blurring with my comb, and then I'm going to take my lighter shade and go over top. So this is what's going to really help still give you like that balayage feel. But like I said, we're reversing it because it's going to be, you know, two darker shades than she currently is. But it's still going to give that depth and dimension that we all know and love for balayage. Because really when you look up reverse balayage, you still see, you know, lightness. It's just, you know, a, a muted light, if that makes sense to everyone. Hopefully that makes sense what I'm saying. So this is what's going to give that effect. And then we'll just move on to our next section. Hello, Lonza. Thank you all for tuning in. And I think I see Danielle on here. Thank you for joining me, Danny. Um, what are you guys doing on this Monday? Um, I also want to make sure, too, that you guys know how to take care of this color after, you know, you send them home. We always think, you know, about when we're working behind the chair, we sometimes forget to talk about what, you know, what the client needs when, um, you know, when they get home, what, what kind of aftercare is this going to need? What I would recommend for a look like this is to send them home with color attach or not color attach, excuse me, color preserving shampoo and conditioner. And we do have our leader sale right now. So if you buy 36 liters, you get a gamma IQ dryer for free. So make sure to check out that deal. And then I'm also going to send them home with trauma treatment to help preserve their color. Like I said, um, strengthen their hair up to 185% more and better color retention up to 85%. Love this stuff. This comes in this size and also our leader size as well. Um, that is going to be what I recommend for their take home to ensure that this color is long lasting. And like I said, again, make sure you check out those sales. If you buy 36, you get um, a free Gamma IQ dryer. So just wanted to make sure. Yes, thank you. Lonza put that in the comments for me. So what they just typed in the comments is what you get. And then, we're, again, we're going to take our lighter shade. And like I said, this, this piece that we've done now, we are going to feather that down. So you see, I'm, I'm really working and going up and down on my sections, like as far as how far I go up and how far I go down. Reason for that is I'm just trying to keep it a very um, loose and dimensional color and just a very natural looking lived in kind of um, dimensional reverse balayage. Does anyone have any questions so far? I don't think I've missed anybody's questions so far, but if you have any questions, just let me know. And this is perfect, like I said, because we are in winter now. This is perfect way to take your, you know, your blondes, um, you know, to a blonde, or you could even take your brunettes a little deeper. You could really utilize this technique with any color. I'm just utilizing it on a blonde today. So, oh yes. Um, it's all right. Um, so to answer your question, Danny, the formulas we're using today is um, 7NV is with 7 Pearl is our darker formula. And with the ends, it is um, 9V with um, 9 Pearl. And they both are double demi with trauma treatment. And for anybody tuning in, we are doing a reverse balayage today. And thank you all so much for joining me on a Monday. Yes, the NV series is amazing. I love it. So good. Has anyone tried the NV series on here? Other than Danny, I know she loves it. And then our next section we're going to take down. And... I'm sorry, I'm working quick, guys. So if you, if, can everyone see what I'm doing? Make sure you guys can see really good. So we're going to take our section 
and do kind of a thick, kind of chunky weave. Clip that up out of our way and save that for later. And then we're going to go through, take our darker shades here. And Danny, you may have missed this too, but I kind of give everyone a hot tip, so I'll say it again as well. Um, my bowl's a little messy, so you have to apologize for that. I put a lighter sticker on my lighter color to ensure that I don't get them mixed up when applying. So that's a great hot tip when you're working behind the chair, working with two colors that when they're processing, they look really similar and you don't want to see them put the wrong shade on. So I like to take a sticker and just put it on the lighter shade so that way I know that it is the lighter shade. So love that tip when working behind the chair. And again, we're just going to take and we're going to work our way down. And last time I went up to about the middle, so I'm going to go down about three-fourths on this section. Again, like I said, just to create more of a lived in, like balayage look within a foil. Balayage doesn't have to be scary. You know, this is almost like a color melt when you think about it. So, oops. Sorry, my earbud dropped off. Slippery little sucker. Anybody ever watch Pretty Woman? When she drops the S cargo and she's like, slippery little sucker. So now anytime I drop anything, I'm like, slippery little sucker. And then we'll also go with our lighter shade and apply that on the ends. And we'll take our foil. And then on this section, we will not go as far down with the dark. Just to, you know, again, create more of a lived in. I mean, it, balayage is a lived in look. And I want to create a seamless blend. So I'm going to not go down as far. And then with the dark, you know, again, that's probably not even a fourth of the way down. Make sure that I got the underneath just really quick. Can everyone see that? Go down on a horizontal. And then I'm going to switch and grab my lighter shade. And just apply down. And again, I'm going to take my comb just to ensure that that section lays flat for me there. Can everyone see that? And then finish applying my lighter shade down. And again, we're still going to be going with, you know, this is still going to be deeper than what she has currently, but it's going to create lightness and darkness, you know, working on the same foil, the same side, um, and just, you know, rolling coal, as I call it, means going quick. Yes, yes, I love, I love, love, love using horizontal sectioning and using something like this to really create and make my life a lot easier and work harder, not smarter, or work not in the opposite sorry guys i can't talk today work smarter not harder you know it's all about maximizing your time behind the chair because we all know time is money baby and i like that money honey i don't know about y'all so our next section we're going to just take down again this is our darker shade ensure that i'm getting at the bottom working my way down and I don't think I've missed anyone's question. I've been applying and talking. So if I've missed anybody's question, please, uh, you know, type it in the comments for me again, and I will get back to you. And I also make sure you guys tune back in afterwards um, a little later. I will make sure to uh, show you the finished look once I'm all done. And again, take our comb. And this is actually a Lonza comb too, by the way. It came with one of our kits. So then we're going to take our lighter shade. And again, like Danny pointed out, I'm doing horizontal sectioning working up, but I'm applying my color on a vertical for blending purposes. Making sure that I get that worked all the way back up. And then just applying a foil over top. And then I'm going to finish and I'm going to show you guys in the front too. We won't do the whole head on camera, but I will do, I wanted to make sure you guys, you know, get to see this application. So let me tilt her for you guys so you guys can see, make sure you guys can still see all of that. So for this one, again, we're going to do our deep weave. Pin that deep weave up out of the way. And then we're going to take our darker color, apply on. 
And don't worry about it getting on like right there. I don't know if you can see on camera, but I got a little bit right there. We're still going to be taking that darker shade as we're going back um, to, and taking that section down. So don't worry about that. And that's the great thing about this technique. And I try to make all my techniques like this where it's just, it's more about just the technique. And you guys can kind of customize it, but it's also easy. So you can, when, you, when using it behind the chair. So taking about half, half to three fourths of the way down on this one. Taking my comb, blurring some of that color down. And then I'm going to take my lighter shade. Apply that on. And then two, if you have issues with saturation, you can simply just go through and make sure you're cross hatching side to side. And that'll make sure any holidays you have get covered. And then feather up and then just apply a pull on top. And then again, like I said earlier, our um, you know, darker shade is gonna be right up here. I'm going to apply that right on the base. And again, this section on top here is going to connect with my like faux money piece I'm going to make. So I'm only going to bring it down, not even a fourth of the way, blur through, then take my lighter shade, working on a vertical and feathering down, cross hatching as I need to to ensure saturation. And then I want to apply a foil right on top of that just to keep everything nice and neat. And just kind of fold that up out of the way. So I don't think I've missed anyone. And I also want to make sure you guys know, too, this month we also, if for anyone who loves Healing Curls, and I absolutely love Healing Curls, um, it is two for 25 this month, which is an amazing deal. So all of this, um, I know we're talking about color, but I do just wanted to touch base on that too. So two for 25 on the retail sizes of um, the Healing Carl's line. So love that. It's a great way to try it out. So for this, we're kind of going to do what we did in the foils. I'm just going to take, you know, horizontal sectioning. I'm going to take my darker shade here. Apply on at the base. Just to kind of smudge it in. And then I'll grab my foil. In here. Let's see. I always like to keep the towel for cleanliness. And then I'm going to take my lighter shade. And I'm going to work my way down. And this will ensure that she, you know, again, we're still going for a reverse balayage feel. So she'll have nice brightness around the face for when we're done with this color application. And like I said, please make sure and tune back in later because I will make sure to post this on the comment section here. Um, so just come back and check the comments and I will make sure to get this work posted for you guys. And also, too, I forgot to tell you guys, um, I have been working behind the chair for 10 years. Um, I have been using Lonza for almost five years, and I have been an educator for Lonza for uh, just a little over a year. I had my year anniversary in December, so just wanted to get, let you guys know who you're, you know, who you're talking to today. Sorry, I always forget that part, introducing myself. I'm like, let me just get into the hair, you know? I don't know if anyone else is like that. I'm like... We're so weird. We're like, sit down and let me touch you and make you look pretty. You know, that's basically our job. So, oh, it's kind of funny sometimes. We get to, you know, hear all people's gossip and all their fun stuff going on in their life. So, I'm like, poorly explain what you do for a living. I make people, I tell people they're pretty and put stuff on their hair and make them look pretty. And like I said, thank you all for tuning in. I know on a Monday it's hard. We have all we all have things to do, so 
I appreciate you guys taking the time to elevate yourself and learn something new, hopefully, today. And then we'll take our lighter shade and we'll just finish that off on the ends. Okay, and then I'll pull on the top. And then, I, like I said, I will be finishing the rest of her off of on cam off camera, excuse me. But I did just want to make sure that I went back through, and made sure I give you um, one last time to ask for if you have any questions in person or while I'm live, I should say. Um, I want to make sure that you know, like I said, you remember that we have our uh, liter sale. If you buy 36 liters, you get a free Gamma IQ dryer, two for 25 on the Healing Curl. So great deals. And uh, make sure that you check out our trauma treatment because, like I said, this is what I'm going to send her home with. And this is what, you know, is going to ensure that she has long lasting um, coverage. This is great because not only is can it be used as a leave-in, it can be used as in between, you know, your shampoo and conditioner as a treatment. It can be used as, um, you know, inside your color. So this is our number one seller, this is our workhorse. So if you try nothing else today, make sure you try out the trauma treatment. And um, again, also once I'm done with her color, I will make sure to apply color attached step two to seal in the, those dye pigments, but also um, help get rid of any residual ammonia out of the hair. So this is amazing. And color attached step one and two can be utilized with any brand. So make sure you check those products out. And make sure you check back because here in about an hour or so, I will um, make sure to post her results. And also, my gorgeous friend Izzy is coming on live here on the Lonza Facebook at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So in about 40 minutes, make sure you check back and make sure you join for her live. She's going to be going over a beautiful haircut. Izzy is so talented. So um, if you liked anything you saw today and you'd like to see more from me, please tag Alonza. Please talk to your brand consultant. And um, my social media is um, Cami Stylus on Instagram. And I'd love to connect with you guys. So thank you all so much and have a beautiful day.